All right, boys and girls, it's time to check out the Fortnite Chapter 2 Remix update. And since this update is nearly 70 gigabytes and it's taking me multiple hours to get it done, I thought I'd walk through the patch notes with you to check out everything that you missed in this update. Following the conclusion of the Chapter 5 end of season live event, we have entered a brand new island and brand new era of Fortnite. And it's almost entirely centered around musical artists. Now, of course, we have the return of the classic Chapter 2 map. Sadly, it doesn't have Coral Castle. But much more significant is the addition of brand new bosses. And these bosses are actually the musical artists from the trailer, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, and Ice Spice. Though currently Snoop Dogg is the only one on the map right now, he controls the agency, which is now called the Dog Pound, and he even has Midas' drum gun, retitled of course for his own purposes. Pretty cool feature though, if you down the bosses now, you can actually revive them and make them a part of your crew. And this will probably be pretty game breaking if he gets his own drum gun along with you. Once we get the week 2 update on November 7th, then Eminem will arrive, and he'll be in the grotto at his little restaurant called Mom's Spaghetti, and at that point you could get your hands on his minigun. Though it won't be in week 3 till we get everyone's favorite crossover collab of all time. Ironically said, of course, Ice Spice is going to take over the shark, and it will be dubbed Ice Isle. And she'll have the same exact mythics that Sky did from Chapter 2, that being the Grappler and the Scar. Once we get to Week 4 though, we'll get, unironically, the most anticipated musical collab of all time. And that's gonna be Juice World, with the World Point POI arriving on November 21st. And it's actually been confirmed by Juice World's manager that there will be an in-game concert closing out this remix season. And as we can see, that will be called Remix the Finale on November 30th at 2 p.m. And even better, if you log in between November 30th and December 1st, you'll actually get a free Slayer Juice World outfit. I think that's pretty dope that they're dropping a free skin for this event, especially Juice World, because Juice World to me is like an immutable part of this game. I can't think of year one or two of this game without hearing Juice World's, you know, shadows in my room on every other Fortnite montage. We also got a list of all the weapons and items that'll be in week one of this game, and this is going to be a fast rotating loot pull, so check it out right here. I think the biggest change is that all the rifles are now unscoped, and there is a gold pump in the game that does 185 headshot currently. And combined with the enhanced tame assist on the rifles, this might be a good time to be a controller builder. Before we move on, let me mention that Meowdis is in his own POI and he has his own mythic as well. If you go down to the yacht, you can get his Piao Piao rifle, but he's not the only other boss. You also have Dynamo Tiantina and she has her Kaboom bow and this thing is freaking crazy. It is a buffed version of the old boom bow. And considering there's also snipers in the game, as long as this weapon, you better be watching your head in this season of Fortnite. We also have the introduction of a brand new cosmetic item that they're calling Kicks. They're starting off immediately with the Nike Air Jordans and there's gonna be a lot of these. It's kind of interesting how Fortnite has expanded into cars and musical instruments and now shoes. Definitely part of their version of being a metaverse, right? Let me know how you feel about these in the comments because it has been a very long time since they added a new cosmetic slot to this game. Currently, they're only compatible with about 500 skins, but they're saying that by next year, they'll be compatible with most of the skins in the game, kind of similar to how they're back updating the skins to have Lego versions. Don't think it's just the Jordans though, you can get some shark slippers as well. And no doubt the in real life Crocs crossover will make it into the Fortnite game. The Fortnite Chapter 2 Remix has brought major changes to the reload mode, including a brand new map and the addition of solos. Now this update is called Desert Drops, and it focuses on the desert part of the OG Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 maps. It is a remix after all. And you'll see that we have Paradise Palms, Sunburnt Shafts, a remixed version of Shifty Shafts, Lizard Links, and many more. Now this map will be rotating with the original reload map about every 30 minutes. And in my opinion, that's a little bit short. If you look at a game like Apex, it's a couple of hours before they rotate their maps. I'm sure Fortnite will key it in over time though. It's just a little odd that they released this new reload map and we're gonna have a hard time getting onto it. Now talking about reload solos, the basic rules are pretty much the same. The real difference is that you come in with only three lives. And if you're playing build mode, once the respawn window is over, you will gain a hundred overshield total, depending on the amount of lives you have left. While in zero build, if I'm doing this math correctly, 
that possible 100 overshield will be added to your already existing 50 overshield. So you might just be running around at the end game of a zero build reload match with 350 health. We also got the loot pool down here and the loot pool kind of strikes me as odd because looking at it, there's a lot of chapter four items on this. So I guess they're doing a reversal of last season where the OG weapons were in the reload version. Now we're gonna have more of the new school weapons in the reload version, while the main version of the game is that old school remix style. Biggest change I see is that the suppressed sniper is the only sniper in this mode of the game. The mammoth pistol is still there, but the way that reload was going, it was very, very snipe centric. The snipers would make or break your game, and when I did my run to Unreal, it's pretty much the saving grace, the thing that put me over the edge. Oddly though, we still have the rocket launcher, even though the Fortnite Mare season is over, so definitely make use of this while you can. When it comes to tournaments, we actually have a couple of duo and squad reload tournaments coming up. And in fact, the only console dedicated cup of this season is a reload tournament. There's over a million dollars going into online competitive tournaments in this season. So if you're a dedicated grinder of the reload mode, I definitely recommend hitting up the tournaments in the remix. Be sure to play one of the rank cups at the very least because it'll give you an alternate version of this season's victory umbrella. And these alternate umbrellas actually have multiple styles. So you're incentivized to grind as hard as you can in the rank mode to get all of the versions of these. One of the coolest things Modern Fortnite does in terms of cosmetics, in my opinion. Now, I mentioned that I made Unreal rank in Fortnite Reload, but it was literally on the very last day of Season 4. So I'll be interspersing my content about the Chapter 2 Remix with my run to Unreal and Fortnite Reload. So I recommend you guys subscribe and maybe check out this video next to me about my grind to Platinum. I did that all in one stream, unranked to Platinum. Pretty freaking easy if you're doing it the correct way. Anyway, see you guys in the next video.